Welcome guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Jish and welcome back to a new year, a new adventure. We've got things we're gonna be doing with the CB125 and we're gonna still be building this XJ650 and a whole heap more of content just for you guys. So smash that like button and let's get straight into this video. To kickstart this video, I'm giving away four tags four Cafe Club swing tags. All you need to do is like this video, be subscribed to the channel, and drop a comment down below. Let me know what you think to the new intro. So now we've got that out of the way, I wanna go over the things that we are gonna be doing with this XJ, parts that we're gonna be putting on. I did actually do a video on Patreon, but I thought I'd, it's been a while, so I'm gonna share it with you guys as well, because you're gonna see them sooner or later anyway. And I'd also like to share some other exciting news with you. Things that you might find interesting, things that you might find pretty damn cool, but, We'll go over that a bit later on. But for now, let's show you the bits I've got for this bike. First of all, oil cooler. This was donated to me by Rushworth Performance. You may know them, they helped me with the CB125. They helped me machine some parts to get these forks fitted. Um, yeah, they had one of these spares and this is actually for a car, but that's not gonna stop us fitting it to this bike. It's pretty much the same size as what you get uh, on standard. All I need to do is change the mounting position and get some nice little AM fittings and that's gonna look really, really smart underneath the headlight. Speaking of headlight, you probably weren't expecting that, were you? Unless you follow me on Instagram, I did actually post these a while back on Instagram, twin brick headlights. You're probably thinking, no, that's gonna be ugly. You're probably thinking, why don't you just go for a nice round one? I'm mixing it up this year. I'm doing things differently. I'm doing things how I wanna do them. I'm building this bike my way. I'm keeping this bike 80s theme retro, just a little bit different basically, but I think when these are, these are gonna look a little bit crazy. Some other little parts that I'm gonna be putting on, built wheel thruster grips. I went with the brown quilted just because they look pretty damn cool and why not? They look good. This little beauty. Most of you will know what this is. I hope most of you do anyway. If not, this is a Moto Gadget M unit blue and this little thing is gonna save me many headaches hopefully, with electrics and all that. Keep it simple, keep it neat. Yes, it's more expensive, but we'll walk through it, we'll make it work. But anyway, guys, that's the things that we've got to look forward to. There is other things, like I've been buying tools here and there, things like fiberglass kits, you name it, we've been looking into it over the past few months. But anyway, as I say, there's more exciting things, which is a whole brand new website. Cafeclub.shop has had a revamp, new products, new style, go and check it out and go and support the channel by making a purchase. Anyway guys, enough of that. Anyway guys, enough of that. We are gonna be cracking on with this bike. I wanna get the profile for the rear seat hump made. I wanna get the, uh, the base for it all made and, and even getting some foam shaped in this video. So, so in true dish fashion, let's crack on. I am really happy with this. This is just like a nice, smooth, plain canvas for us to work on. There is gonna be some alterations, however. Before we start getting the hump shape and working on that, there is an issue I do need to tackle, and that is where the battery is gonna sit because the new battery is, well, it's this size. Some people may put it elsewhere, may have a little compartment underneath. Some people may have a little bag for it, that little satchel somewhere near by the, the, underneath the swing arm. But I've got a little bit of a different plan to make it kind of tucked away. Um, and that is gonna be here. Now you can see this is not gonna fit like this. I don't plan on having it sat on top of this. Uh, the plan is to sink it down and have a little drop down section underneath the frame where the battery will sit lower down. It should sit about 
that sort of height. I need to account for it while I'm fiberglassing, so just make a little section here, raised. That will give me the room needed for all the electrics to sit underneath this. So I'm going to do that now, and then we can start working on the seat hump. So I feel after a bit of trial and error, I have got the kind of shape that I wanted. The first one was a bit of just like a kind of traditional cafe racer hump, but then I was thinking it just doesn't really fit the, the idea I have in my head for this bike. So what I'm gonna do is go for this low profile one. We don't need a battery back there. There's nothing really gonna be in the way so it can be as smooth and as sleek as possible. And I'm really digging this sort of like really minimalist rear coming out to a fat front sort of style, very sportish. So I'm really happy with that side profile. So all I need to do is get some of this glued together, put on there, um, but what I'm gonna do first is take that template, cut it out in a bit of harder plastic that I've got, sandwich it in between these two so I can actually have it use it as a guideline to follow, and yeah, start shaping the rear end. So we have managed to get the rough shape in there. It's kind of the scary point now where we have to probably get this, the lines to match because I want to try and follow the lines of the tank into the tail light because they're all kind of like similar sort of flowing lines. Hence why I've just drawn those lines on the top just to kind of give me an indication not to cut too far. So far, so good. This foam is so easy to cut. This is just florist foam. These bricks cost me 99p each. So it's not like gonna break the bank or anything like that. One word of warning, it is very, very soft. So like if you do stick your fingers in it, for example, a bit of ASMR on this channel. Besides the point, this is a, a crucial part, so I don't want to rush it, I want to take my time. I'm going to go home and think about it, take a look at some photos, look at some inspiration kind of lines and kind of, you know, just to see how other people have kind of like formed it and shaped it. So I'm going to come back tomorrow and actually start work on getting that shape just right. So I've slept on it and kind of thought about what I want to do, the sort of shape I want to go with. And to be honest, I don't want to go too crazy. I've already kind of roughed out a shape with what I've got in mind. So you can kind of see the shape I've put in here. I'm trying to follow the leading lines. These match the lines on the tank. Um, and I just want to kind of follow that along. It's not massively kind of concave or anything like that. It's kind of just very subtle, but I feel like this form here is all I need to just to kind of take back and kind of make it work. So let's get the knife out and start shaping this really soft foam.
So guys, that's all we've got time for in this video. Next video, we'll be laying down some fiberglass for the final shape, for the final fit up. I'm really liking the shape it's taking and I hope you do too. I hope you like this video as well because I'm my, my focus this year is quality. I'm trying to up my game with the videos, with everything in general. So smash that like button, hit that bell notification if you want to see more and I should see you in the next video. Peace.